Hello everyone, I hope you are all well and healthy. Nice to see you again, on Perro's Cement Techno channel, on this occasion I will explain about how to operate kiln main burner for cement production process. Main burner is a fuel combustion process equipment used in a rotary kiln cement. The process of burning fuel in the main burner, greatly determines the quality and capacity of the clinker produced, so operating the main burner requires special knowledge and skills or has good experience in the field. If an error occurs in the operation of the main burner, it will cause damage to the fire bricks in the kiln and the operation of the kiln as a whole. The temperature required for the combustion process in the kiln is around 1600 degrees Celsius, and the heat used to react of raw meal into clinker is radiant heat from the fuel combustion process in the main burner. In this session we will explain about the functions and working principles and how to operate the main burner in a rotary kiln. Before we continue this discussion, for those of you who haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like and comment and watch the video until it's finished, so you can benefit from this video material. What is the function of main burner in rotary kiln cement? The main burner function is to burn fuel in the rotary kiln, the fuel used is generally fine coal. The amount of fuel used depends on the clinker production capacity, according to the design capacity, and the calorific value of the fuel used. How to operate main burner? In general, the operation of the main burner for the heating up kiln uses diesel oil as fuel, and for startup the kiln operation uses pulverized coal as fuel. Before operating the main burner there are several things that must be understood first. What do you need to know about diesel oil fuel R? Diesel oil's flash point is at temperatures ranging from 60 to 90 degrees Celsius. The calorific value of oil is around 8,850 kilocalorie per kilogram of oil. Combustion air required for oil ranges from 11 normal meter cubic per kilogram of oil, this is very important to know and air requirements are adjusted to fuel consumption. Identification of fuel quality of fine coal, the calorific value of coal, Low calorie ranges from 400 to 1500 kilocalorie per kilogram of coal, and medium calorie ranges from 1500 to 1600 kilocalorie per kilogram of coal. This is important to know, especially when mixing fuel between oil and coal, or changing fuel from oil to coal for the combustion process in the kiln system. Combustion air which is required for pulverized coal ranges from 7 to 8 normal meter cubic per kilogram of coal. The air requirement is adjusted to the fuel consumption. The flash point for coal is from 425 to 550 degrees Celsius, depending on the coal grade. This is very important to note, when starting to use fuel coal, it must be adjusted to the temperature in the combustion chamber so that it can produce an optimal combustion process temperature, and not leave much of CO. Next, preparation of equipment for main burner ignition. 1. Test automatic ignition, can it still be used or not? If this equipment is no longer functioning, it must be done manually. 2. Prepare the pilot burner made of pipes to drain natural gas and air to regulate air pressure. 3. Or a pilot burner pipe with a rag dipped in diesel oil at the end. As an example, in the following pictures and videos. Start firing. Using a pilot burner that is fueled by natural gas or acetylene gas, then it is inserted into the kiln right at the end of the main burner. This is an example of a video of a first-time ignition to the main burner. After the main burner flame ignites properly, then monitor the flame to get the shape of the flame as desired, by adjusting the axial and radial air dampers from the primary fan. 
and the axial and radial damper settings depend on the type of burner used. This is a video example of the main burner flame for the kiln after replacing the refractory brick, and it takes 24 hours to 36 hours to heat up, depending on how long the refractory brick is replaced. Here's a video example of a main burner flame for a kiln that didn't replace the refractory brick before. And for heating up it takes 12 to 24 hours, depending on how long the previous kiln stopped. This is an example of a 5 meter diameter kiln and a production capacity of 4,500 tons of clinker per day. The fuel used for heating up is diesel oil with 1,000 to 1,200 liters per hour for the first firing start. This is one example of a video of a burner flame that has been mixed between fuel oil and coal. The flame is not perfect and a lot of coal burns too late. For cases like this, it is better to reduce the coal fuel first or increase the axial air pressure from the primary fan so that the fire is stronger and shorter. And this is an example of a video of the clinker production process in the rotary kiln, which has only been a few hours the kiln operation has started up. The temperature in the combustion zone is around 1450 degrees Celsius, and the temperature of the clinker coming out of the kiln is around 1200 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it's useful, and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and share it with your friends who need it. See you in the next video.